I've been having so much fun valuing my toy collection. So today what we're going to do is focus on this shelf over here on the right and see what it's worth. Hey everyone, my name is Chris. I'm a full-time beauty pageant director as my career, but in my spare time, I'm a huge toy collector. I've been collecting toys now for over 40 years. You can officially call me a toyaholic. Thanks so much for checking out my YouTube channel. My channel consists mainly of two things, beauty pageants, which I love, and toys, which I love even more. My goal now is to move my massive toy collection to a building and call it Mississippi's Totally Awesome Toy Museum and make it open to the public. I want to make it a tourist attraction for our state. So now I'm just going to make a ton of videos and value my toy collection. And then I'm going to make some where I take you shopping with me to thrift stores and flea markets and toy stores to let you see where I find all these goodies. All right, let's jump right in today and focus on this little bookcase here with all kinds of miscellaneous toys. We're going to start here at the bottom, and the first thing we have are all these loose little pets. These are actually called Disney Palace Pets Minis, and we have, I think, 12 of these, and they're worth about $2 each, so that's about $24 we can add to our total. Some are actually worth more than two, but we'll just say $2 each. Next, we have these little, these are cute. These are called Jeff Palm Cute Life Puppies. And we have two of these, and they're worth $6 each. I actually remember where I got these. I got these at Walmart when they were on clearance for a dollar. All right, next we have some more of those Palace Pets. This one's still in the package. This is what it looked like new, and it's worth $20. Here we have Whisker Haven figures. The cat It's worth $15. And then we have the dragon, also worth $15. All right, next up we have these little figures called Magical Do-Re-Mi figures. We have three different packs of these. We have the one in the blue, we have the one in the pink, and then we have one coming up in the orange. I didn't even know I had these, so it's always like a treasure to find this new stuff. These are worth $20 each, so that gives us $60 more we can add to our total. Oops. Next, we have this little Build-A-Bear workshop shopping for fashion, and it's worth about $15. All right, next up, we have this Groovy Girls Bodacious Booth little playset, and it's a little rare. It's worth about $30. Next up, we have these little fairy figures. They're called Shoe Fairies. First, this one is Starlet, worth about $10. It might be worth more than that, but I saw one set on eBay worth $50 for a set of five, so I figured $10 each. And then this one is called Ginger, and she's worth $10. Next up, we have this Angry Birds Go Multi-Pack, and it's worth $20. And then we have this Chicken Little figurine set. This is pretty rare. I couldn't even find this, so I had to kind of guesstimate, and I think it's worth about $45. Because I saw some of the loose figures worth like 20 each. And then back here in the very back, we have these cute little cuckoo birds, four packs. And we have three of these, and they're worth $10 each. So that gives us another $30 we can add to our grand total. All right, let's move up to this next shelf. We have this Ren and Stimpy figure set. They're called Cruising Back to School, and they're worth about $15 for the set. And then next up, we have Phineas and Ferb on their motorized surfboard, and they're worth about $20. We have these two loose Phineas and Ferb critters, and they're worth $30. And then these small Phineas and Ferbs are worth $15. The small plush Ferb is worth $10, and the large one's worth $15. And then these little plastic bowls set of four are worth about $2. And then this Phineas and Ferb 3-pack of 2nd Dimension figures is worth 80 bucks. I was surprised. Next, this little Phineas and Ferb um, ornament set is worth about $8. It's from Disney. And then we have a Phineas and Ferb little picture frame that's worth about $7. And then we have a little Phineas and Ferb Jello mold set that's worth about $6. Next up, we have this bank. It's called the Teller Man, the Moving and Talking Bank. He's worth $25. And then we have this doll set called What's Her Face in the blue package. It's worth about $35. 
you draw her face on. Cute name, right? That loose doll there with the green hair is worth about $5. And then we have another doll set, What's Her Face in the Pink Packet, and it's worth $35 as well. All right, we're going to move on up to another shelf. Let's start off with this little purple sloth. It's called Pets Alive, and it's worth about $25. All right, next up we have some Atomic Betty figures. Here, this is um, Noah Parker. He's worth about $38 still in the package. And then we have another Atomic Betty figure. This is Maximus IQ. He's worth about $45 still in the package. All right, we have another Atomic Betty figure. This one's called X5. He's worth about $40. These are pretty rare. They're hard to find. Next, we have a vintage speaking spell, and it's worth $12. And then we have another Atomic Betty figure. This one is called Minimalist, and he's worth $28. And then we do have the Atomic Betty Transforming Star Cruiser, still in the box, worth $32. All right, moving right on to another shelf. We have three of these little rocket-powered Nickelodeon figures. Worth, they're worth $6 each, so that would give us $18 more. And then we have these two Rocky and Bullwinkle jelly jars worth $5 each. A little trick that works for me collecting jars and glasses, I always get the little plastic soda top and put on the top of it to keep dust or bugs from getting in it. Next up, we'll get to some Rocky and Bullwinkle items. I have this little tin that on my watch actually came in. It still has the little um, pin inside. That's worth about $15 for this set. And um, I still have the watch somewhere too. I'll have to dig that out, but that's worth $15 just for the box alone. Next, we have these Rocky and Bullwinkle Bendem figures. First, this one is Rocky and Bullwinkle. It's worth $20 still in the package. And then the next one, we have Boris and Natasha. They're also worth $20 still in the package. And then we have one more set in the back. That's of Boris and the Fearless Leader. And this set is worth about $18. And let's see what else we have. We have these Universal Studios Monster Dolls. This one is uh, uh, the Bride of Frankenstein. She's worth $50. And then we have Frankenstein, and he is worth $45. All right, hiding over here on the side, we have a little Rocky and Bullwinkle plastic pinball game. It's worth about $8. And then from Rocket Power, we have this alarm clock still in the box. And it's worth $75 still in the box. And then over here on the side, we have a Nickelodeon Rocket Power Scooter Scorching Auto that's worth about $20 still in the package. On this next shelf, we have the Wiggles. We have the four Wiggles here in the red car. It's worth about $20. And then we have the Wiggles Hot Potato Musical Game that's worth about $25. I was surprised it was worth so much. And then we have the loose doll of Anthony worth $30. And in the purple shirt, Jeff worth $35. And then the Wiggles TV tray is worth $30. Then we have the little pirate doll from the Wiggles. And he's worth $20 bucks by himself. And then we have the Polly Pocket Sparkle Stage. This is one of the newer packs. And it's worth $12. Now behind it, we have a little more of a vintage Polly Pocket cruise ship. And it's full of the little figures, and that's what the inside looks like. And it's worth about $30 in this condition. I told you these shelves were just full of a little bit of everything. First, we have the Elf Bobbler. He's solar-powered, and he's worth about $10. And then we have the Elf Game. It's called the North Pole to Manhattan Game. And it's worth about $20 still sealed in the box like this. And then we have one more elf item in this little collection. He's the elf little plush doll, and he's worth about $15. Very top of the shelf, we just have some old vintage lamps. This is a wooden lamp of Humpty Dumpty, and it's worth about $25. 
And then we have this little wooden girl. I don't know if this is Bo Peep, but um, she still has her lampshade that's made of lace. She's in pretty good shape. So she's also worth about $25. And then we have a third lamp. This is a plastic lamp from Fisher Price of Humpty Dumpty with the original lampshade worth $35. All right, next we're gonna move on to this wooden curio cabinet next to our other shelf we just finished. This one's gonna be hard. Um, first on the top, we have this giant Hercules plush Pegasus that's worth $200, it's super rare. Now this cabinet itself is worth $400. All right, I'm just gonna see if I can move the cabinet out and take pictures of the dolls because I know the reflections are gonna be terrible. So this is gonna be hard. But this is what they look like in the case. I have a lot. They're integrity dolls. They're pretty expensive dolls. I think I collected those about 10 years ago. So it's really hard to find the value of these when you don't know the face mold. So I'm going to have to guesstimate on several. This set is a little easier. Uh, all of these are Osvaldo dolls. And his dolls um, are about $300 each. The one in the orange is our Miss Universe doll, $300. The black and white is our Miss World doll for $300. Then in the gold is Miss Earth, also worth $300. The gold doll is an Osvaldo that's worth $300. And the African American doll in the tropical dress is also worth Osvaldo worth $300. And then our Miss USA doll is worth probably about $200. She could be worth more. All right, in this set, our doll with the blonde hair with the black dress is worth about $200. In the white is another Osvaldo creation. She's worth $300. And then the doll with the yellow and nude dress is probably worth about $150. This doll in the lavender dress with the blonde hair, it's worth about $150. And then in the gold dress with the red hair, it's worth probably about $150. And then in that purple dress with the red updo, she is actually called Fashion Royalty Agnes. I found her online and she's worth $450. All right, this doll in the blue looks Indian to me and she's called Age of Opulence. She's worth $300. And then we have this blonde in the floral navy dress worth about $150. And then we have the red sequin Osvaldo doll worth $300. Now again, this is just my best guesstimate on a lot of these. They could be worth a lot more, but I just can't find them on eBay by their face sculptures. All right, this doll in the big silver dress is worth at least $300. I think she's worth more than that. And then in the nude and bronze beading gown, that's another Osvaldo creation. She's worth $300. And then the doll in the green ruffle dress is worth about $150. Next, we have this blonde in this pretty blue ruffle dress worth about $150. And then this blonde with her hair kind of put up in the back in a black and white dress worth about $250. And then we have another Osvaldo creation, this green pleated dress worth about $300. And then next, we have this pretty blonde with her hair up in this light floral dress. She's worth about $200. And then this doll in the black and white dress with the bob cut hairdo worth about $100. And then the African-American doll in the short pink and blue dress. She's worth about $250. Next, we have this gold ruffle dress doll by Osvaldo, and it's worth about $300. And we have this really pretty doll in the purple sequin dress that's worth about $150. And then the doll with the dark hair slip back in the rose lace color dress worth $200. And then we have this red head in the green and pink and purple floral dress worth about $250. And then we have this really pretty doll. She's in the yellow and white dress. She's brand new. Her her title is called Summer and Terramina. She's a Vanessa doll and she's worth $350. And then our one boy doll we have is Carnival Gala in Venice, a Lucas doll, and he's worth $250 with his stylish green velvet cape. Next, we have this bright red head in an aqua blue sequin dress and she's worth about $200. And then we have this dark skin integrity doll in the purple sequin dress. She's worth about $250. When they have that really dark skin tone like that, they're usually worth a little bit more for some reason. And then we have this doll in the hot pink dress. She's worth about $150. We have this really pretty blonde doll in the lime green dress. That's worth about $150. And then we have another Osvaldo doll in the black and white sequin dress. That's worth $300. And then this really pretty green feathered Osvaldo doll worth also $300. And then in the black and white dress is a Poppy Parker doll. And she's worth about 
$250. And then we have the doll in the black and blue dress, also worth about $250. And then I just accidentally repeated that lime green dress doll that previously was still worth $150. I love this doll in the orange sequin dress. She's worth about $200. And then we have this blonde with the updo that's in the pink and white rose dress worth about $150. And then this green dress with the red hair doll. She's just super serious and glamorous. She's worth about $250. And then in this last set, we have this black doll with the black hair slipped back with some jewelry that's worth about $150. And then next to her in a red dress, she looks Asian to me. She's worth about $250. And then the doll with the light blue or mint green dress is worth about $200. And if you follow my videos, you know at the end, I always add miscellaneous things that I need to add to shelves I've already completed. So first, I just got this new shipment of Hunties mugs and coasters in. And I got the coolest coasters. Here's um, Carol Burnett and then um, Bewitched. These are worth $10 each. I have four of them, so that's $40 more I can add to our total. But th these are done by Glenn Hansen, and I think his work is amazing. Captain Steubing from The Love Boat. And then um, Leslie and um, Karen from Will and Grace. I had already done a whole video of these um Glenn Hansen cups and coasters I have. So I'm just going to add these to my shelf. Here we have Wheezy and George Jefferson from the Jeffersons. And then this mug was a tribute to Olivia Newton-John who just passed away. And then up next, Friends for Life, we have the girls from the Facts of Life. And then from the Mary Tyler Moore show. See all the different characters there. And then we have one more. We have the Golden Girls since um, Betty White has passed away. They're all angels now. So he did this cup where they're all angels in heaven. I love his work. He's very talented. Oh, I forgot I have the All in the Family one too. And actually I just bought a clock in a flea market with All in the Family. I'll put that in an upcoming video. The mugs are worth about $15 each. All right next up we have this Hot Wheels basket or tote. It's worth $18 on eBay for the cheapest one. I just got that at a thrift store for a dollar. The, the, I found this really cool thrift store that sells stuff so cheap. I love it. Next, we have the Stanley Pop Comic cover set. He's worth $22. And then I got this at Home Goods for $20, and it's worth $48. It's a Ted Lasso Believe Light. Then I got this Jasmine Bank. She's worth $15, even missing the little lamp in her hand. And I got her for like 50 cents at a garage sale. Then I have a Power Rangers 2023 calendar worth $2. Then this is a big rig set from Hot Wheels worth $18. The Target set is worth $14. Next, we have the Incredibles Jack Baby Talking Plush. He's worth $20. And then we have a loose can worth $5. And a single majig, I think that's what they're called. Minnie Mouse is worth $25. I was surprised she was worth so much. And then I had a couple more Soda Funkos. We have the Mantis figure. And she's worth $18. And then the Polka Dot Man, he's worth $11. And then we had these Tsum Tsums that I got at a garage sale. They're worth $3 each. So that's $21 more we can add to our total. I think they cost me like a dollar. And then I got two Matchbox. I'll always say $2.50 each for those. So that's $5 more. Now with our previous 119 videos we've made so far, our grand total is $325,364. Now with this video, we can add another $12,837 to our grand total thanks to all of those integrity dolls. They were pretty valuable. So with this being our 120th video we've made for Value of My Toy Collection for our YouTube series, our grand total so far is $338,201. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video today. It's from a series we're making on YouTube called Value in My Toy Collection. If you did enjoy it, just hit subscribe. We're going to make tons of other videos showing you the toys we find and part of my toy collection. So thank you so much for watching.